NFL Best Game Previews, week number four, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can visit any of their six sports books opening this weekend, this Friday, September 28th. Sportsbook at the Fitz. Fitz Casino, 11 a.m. We will be down there, along with Gary Parrish from CBS, along with uh, several other friends of ours. Come down and visit. Hang out with us. Uh, let's uh, let's jump into the games. Um, no, let's talk about the Picks Contest. Go go enter the Picks Contest. If you haven't entered, what are you doing? It's free. It's free. All you got to do is put in a name and an email. Like, good gracious. We're not going to spam you. Yeah, I, I promise. You you might get one email a week from us telling you to, hey, go join the, the Pigs Contest because you can win some pretty cool prizes. This week, two-night stay at Sam's Town in Tunica, along with a $100 dining certificate to a Twain Steakhouse, $50 free slot play. Go check that thing out. Football Picks Contest on winningcureseverything.com. It's right there on the homepage. Go check it out. Uh, from there, last week, Tim D., Nine and one, played pretty well. He he did. He was the best of all of us, and he is uh, he's in South Carolina. He'll be joining us in Tunica pretty soon. Let's talk about the big games. We got we got some pretty good ones this week. Oh yeah, and and for once, the Thursday night, Monday night, and Sunday night games are like prime time, prime time, big time the games. N- the NFL has been doing so much better at getting good games this past week. Thursday night, Sunday night. And 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 Monday night. Yeah, all real good games. I agree. I agree. Uh, let's jump into the first one. Thursday night's game, the Vikings at the Rams. Now this would be a lot bigger had the Vikings taken care of business last week, but they didn't. The Rams, however, have done everything they're supposed to do. Rams at Samstown right now. By the way, lines this week from Samstown down in Tunica. Uh, Rams are a six and a half point favorite. The over under is forty nine. Thursday seven twenty p.m. First game on Fox. First Thursday night game on Fox. It's at the Coliseum in L.A. Vikings. Look, the over ten backers for the Vikings, like myself, they need this win. They are currently one one and one. The Rams' only real defensive weakness seems to be their run defense. They're giving up five yards per carry. I don't know that the Vikings can take advantage of that without Dalvin Cook playing. Dalvin Cook should be back. You think he'll be back this yeah. week? He was literally he was said to be sitting out last week in preparation for this week. That's what I I wondered whether or not the Vikings were caught looking ahead. Yeah, I mean that that's I really that's possible. I really thought that against Buffalo. Um the Vikings need to reass, or reassert themselves. Right? Because they, they I mean they've let some stuff get away from them here the past few weeks. This would be the stage to do it. The Rams, however, look pretty unstoppable right now. Uh, Sean McVay is a different kind of beast, but if anybody was going to stop him, I think it might be Mike Zimmer. I'll agree with that. How, how do you feel about this game? All right, so I, 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 I think the way the the Bills got to the Vikings was putting pressure on Kirk Cousins. Yeah. They shut down the run, and they put pressure on Cousins, and Cousins did not handle the pressure very well at all. The Rams... Can't stop the run and haven't pressured anybody. They're 29th in the league in sacks right now. That's that's not good. No, no, it's not. I know that they look like world beaters. I think this defense is going to be ready for that offense. I don't know that they can stop them. I don't know that they can even slow them down. But I would venture to say this is going to be a more high, a higher scoring game than, um, than than we would suggest. All right, so you would suggest going over the 49. Ooh, I didn't realize it was going to be almost 50 points. I don't know about that. I mean, at that point, you're talking 27-23 gets you the over. I think the Vikings are going to slow down. Oh, I think they though. are, too. I think they are, too. Um, I mean, I wouldn't touch that over-under. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm I wouldn't. not taking the 50 on a Thursday night. Over-unders and Thursdays are usually go under. Yeah. Um, this is in my gambling picks, so... Go check out the Gambling Picks video, and I'll give you my pick on this one. Uh, Mine, let's, too. Really? Okay, okay. Dolphins at Patriots is game number two. Patriots a seven-point favorite. The over-under is 47.5. This is Sunday, noon, CBS. It's in Foxborough. Patriots defensive numbers? Bad. Horrible. 143 rushing yards a game. They're giving up 4.7 yards per carry. 263 passing yards per game. 
six point nine per pass attempt. I mean, it's it's real bad. It's it's not good. The Dolphins are three and zero. The Pats are one and two. If the Dolphins win this, they have. I mean, they're if, in the driver's seat for the AFC. East. They, they've effectively got a three and a half game lead in the AFC East after four weeks. Absolutely, they do. Uh, the Pats have not been one and two since two thousand twelve. Now, is this a legit problem, or or will the Patriots get it corrected like they always do? Well, okay. If the Dolphins win this game, I don't know that one doesn't mean the other is still not okay. I think I think the Dolphins can win. I think the Patriots can lose this game and still be able to get it corrected. They've got to do some things and the offensive line to be a little better. I think they got to make a defensive move bad, and I don't know what that move is. Bill, they always seem to find out Bill what it usually, is. But. Bill usually makes four or five moves in the middle of the season. That makes his team totally different at the end of the year than where they were at the beginning of the year. Do you think it was a mistake letting the players go that he let go this offseason? Well, no. The, the left tackle soldier that they let go, they didn't just let him go. They made a hell of an offer at him, and the Giants made a bigger one. Houston made a bigger one, and the Am- Giants out, outpaid them. So, Amendola? Yeah, Amendola. God, I know. I, yeah, Tom would really like to have Amendola. Let, let me tell you what, what we would really like to have. We'd really like to have somebody that you draft in the first round that could be worth a damn. That's that's what, as a Patriot <laughs> fan, I'd like to have. The the guard that we drafted to, Isaiah play, Wynn? to play tackle out for the season, not going to see him. Don't know how good of a tackle he's going to develop to be. And Sony Michelle has, has not looked good. Has been a complete disappointment. Yeah. Tom does not trust him at all. And I will tell you this he won't, he's going to have to do all that he does from running the football. Because he's not catching another ball from Tom. If you think that he's going to be the back that's going to get catches out of the backfield, that that stopped Sunday unless something drastic changes. I mean, it, it looks – I, I don't – Tom doesn't have a single receiver out there that he trusts. It's not Gronk. And if you watch what the defenses are doing, they're no longer double-teaming Gronk. They are triple-teaming him, and they're yeah. saying, get us with somebody else. And, yeah. and he can't. He doesn't trust Dorsett. He doesn't. He doesn't trust any anybody else. He doesn't trust Hogan. No. Nobody else. It, it's this is as bad as it has looked. Like it is. It is bleak. It is bleak in Foxborough. Uh, with that said, however, I mean, would you take the Patriots minus seven this week? I'm not touching this game. That's it. it this is the kind of game that Belichick normally gets it right and comes back. And You're right. This is the own to Cincinnati game. Yeah. This is the everybody's counting us out. And we're going to go home to Foxborough, and we're going to get this right. Yeah. And 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 are the Dolphins really a 3-0 and team? Are they a 4-0 and team? I don't know. But I'll tell you this. That defense, it ain't getting better between now and Sunday. No, you get that right. And that offensive line, they're not either. Game number three, the Bucks at the Bears. Now, at the beginning of the season, this might not have been a highlight oh, of game. an unwatchable game. But right now? Oh, it's a great game. This is a great game. Bears it's the most exciting player in football and the other most exciting player in football. Line at Samstown right now. Bears minus three. The over under is forty six and a half. Sunday, twelve PM on Fox, Soldier Field. Look, the Bucks are averaging over four hundred yards passing per game. The Bucks' biggest defensive weakness is their secondary. I don't know that the Bears can take advantage of that. No, Mr. Trubisky is just He's not. He's not good. This is going to be exciting when Tampa Bay has the ball. Yeah, that's when this is going to be exciting. You've got Khalil Mack going against Ryan Fitzpatrick. How crazy is that? But that's that's the matchup that everybody wants to see. It's a matchup I want to see. And I think you're going to get to see it a lot. Yeah. I don't think the Bears are going to be keeping the no, ball I think a whole the Bears lot. Bears are going to punt a lot. They uh they they showed last week against the Cardinals that they may not quite be ready for prime time, or or it might just be that they. Uh, they will play down to whatever level of competition they're playing against. That's a team that might want to trade for Tyrod Taylor. The Bears? Yeah. You really don't like Trubisky, huh? I don't think Trubisky's going to be very good. He he, he has looks, not looked it. He looks lost. Yeah, he does. And Now, part of that might be Matt Nagy's offense. No, the um, offense is fine. He, he can't make decisions. Guys are open. 
Yeah. And he can't when he has to make decisions, he's not making good clean throws. No, he's he's really not. It's I mean, they're having to make a hell of a move on the ball to make the catch. Yeah. It's uh it's it's not great. Uh if you had this is in my gambling picks. Is it in yours? I don't remember. <laughs> I should remember. No. No. All right. Wh- which, from this one. which way are you leaning on this? No, if I had to bet I'm, I Oh god. Bears are minus 3. I think I'd have to take the Bucks. Okay. Okay. I don't we, I don't I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But I just don't trust Mitchell Trubisky. I can uh, I can understand that. Uh game number 4, Ravens at the Steelers. Steelers minus three, over unders fifty one. It's Sunday night, Sunday night football on NBC, seven twenty p.m. It's at Three River Stadium. The Ravens were impressive over the Broncos last week. Now you bet the Broncos, so you you kept up with this at least a little bit. I did. I lost money on this game. The Steelers had their first win. It was at the Bucks on Monday night. Uh, the Ravens are only averaging three point one yards per carry rushing. Can the Steelers take advantage of the home field advantage? Like a Ravens win gives them a two-game lead in the AFC North. This is a massive game. Massive These game. two teams just flat out don't like each other. Looking up things about this. It wouldn't matter what the record was. It wouldn't matter no. anything that's going on. Like, obviously, Le'Veon Bell ain't coming back for this one. Sure. Uh, Antonio Brown got on the scoreboard. Fine. Like, he scored a touchdown. Uh, it seems like things are back to normal Let me tell you that. something that shocks me. Okay. The Ravens are fifth in scoring offenses. All of that is coming from that 47 point. Like, you think so? Yes, okay. because they only scored 23. When I, was, when I was looking through the numbers, I was like, that can't be right. They scored they 23 garbage points against the Bengals, and they scored 27 against the Broncos at home last week. Well, but the Broncos and the Bengals are, are decent defensive teams, though. Agreed. But I, I still don't th- like. Look, the Bengals had them dead to rights. Like You're it was, right. it was. No, they over. were in no no danger of losing. And that game. and they just came out and threw everything they had and and scored points late. Yeah. Right. So they scored twenty three points there. Uh, but against the Broncos, yeah, like at home, Sunday early game. You know, not a game I'm picking on. I'll probably be betting it though. I'll be betting the Ravens every time these two teams play. I just take whoever's catching points. That makes sense. I, I think it's such an evenly matched game. If it's if it's not a pick 'em, if it's not a one point line, these are usually one point games. Yeah, I, I just one take, to three. I just take whoever's taking catching points. It, it would not surprise me. If I can me. start off with a, with with a head start when the game starts, I think I'm going to be there at the end. It would not surprise me to see the Steelers win by three, like hit dead on the line. Yeah. Which, by the way, it's it's three at Samstown. So if you want that number, go grab that thing. Over under fifty one, got to lean here. I mean, it, if if the Ravens are fifth in scoring offense and the Steelers are like seventh. what se- seventh? They're seventh. So I mean, like it it makes you think. I don't. But these two teams never play a fifty point game. No, they. I don't know. Have they ever played a fifty point game? I mean, this is mm. usually like really low scoring. I mean, it, it's normally 21-17, 24-21, yeah. both, both that kind of they, thing. And I don't know that they both, either one of them hitting the 20s usually. I, I, I would, would go under I'd 51 take the under. easy. Yeah. Now, I, I'd be wrong. I've been wrong before. But but you if, if you had to lean one way, you'd go the under. Oh, I'd go the under. Chiefs minus four and a half at the Broncos. This is game number five. It is the Monday night game. Over under is 55 and a half. Monday, 7.15 p.m. ESPN. It's at Mile High Stadium. Showtime Mahomes on a Monday night. Look, they already won at the Chargers and at the Steelers. Uh, I don't know that traveling to Denver is going to be too scary. The Broncos looked great in week one. They were kind of eh in week two and just downright not good in week three. The question here is, can Case Keenum score enough points to keep up with the Chiefs? The Chiefs have won 17 of their last 19 division games here. Like, that is bonkers if you think about it. I think the Broncos are one of those teams that are a bad injury away from being really good. You love Chad Kelly. I do love Chad love Kelly. Love Chad Kelly. I think he's the best quarterback on that roster. I can understand it. I think he is. I think he's the best quarterback. I think he'll give them excitement and fire. He's going to turn the ball over like young quarterbacks do. But – Case Keenum won't do that, and that's fine, but he's also going to be way more explosive than Case Keenum. Well, will Case be. Keenum has been turning the football over a lot. Well, I know, that, but 
Okay. And if and if he's going to be turning the football over, you might as well have the guy that can be explosive. Yeah. I just I I can't understand why they're still going with Case Keenum. I know they paid him all that money. That doesn't matter to me. Give me the Chiefs in this game until the Chiefs burn me. I'm just going to start betting the Chiefs. I'm going to well, and I have been. Yeah. I didn't week one, and and I got right week two. I got right last week. I'm I'm gonna. It's not one of my gambling picks, but I'd, I'd take the Chiefs minus. I'll four have and money half. on the cheat code uh, until until they prove you wrong. That's right. Ride until she bucks you. You don't ride at all. There you go. All right. Honorable mention games. We got three of them this week. Eagles minus three and a half at the Titans. Look, Titans. Like we talked about, Mike Vrabel in the uh, in the recap. I, I don't know what it is like. They should be losing these the, games. The over under is like 40, 41. I mean, it's yeah, it's low. it's really low. But I mean, you'd almost expect it to go under. I expect all Titans games to go under. Yeah, I I agree. Uh, this game's in my gambling picks. Okay, we'll leave it alone then. Browns at the Raiders. Raiders minus two and a half. It's the Baker Mayfield show now. Uh, this game's in my gambling picks too. I, mean, I no would doubt what I'm I doing. I would lean to the Raiders. I know. I know. That's if the only right because play. I, I would tell you this, that's the right play. Cleveland winning two games in a row back to back. The Raiders starting off zero and four. They're still pros. Like I, I get it. Everything in the world says the Raiders are going to cover this game easy. They should. I don't care. I've I've wasted money on dumber. <laughs> Last game of the honorable mentions. The Texans at the Colts. Colts is minus this an one and a half. Pension game. I, I tossed it winless. in because it is a division game, and because the Texans were expected to be pretty good this year, and I mean, if they lose this game, they go to zero and four. They there is no chance. You know how of we like playoffs. to cross off teams. Oh, we we crossed off the Texans two weeks ago. No, we didn't. We crossed off the Bills and the Cardinals. Oh well, the Texans have been crossed off this week then. That's why I was going to ask. That's it. You lose at home to the Giants. Yeah. All right. Next question. First coach fired. It's Bill O'Brien, right? Well, we did Bill O'Brien last week. I know that. It's still him. It's like, still nobody, Bill O'Brien. Nobody's taking that position. Nobody's taking that poll. No chance. I mean, you can't fire Gruden first year of a ten year. No, deal. it's still Bill O'Brien. He's he's thirty one and thirty six now overall. There's a part of me that wants to like, fire Anthony Lynn. Okay, I, I know the Chargers look, won't do it. They lost to the Chiefs and they lost to the Rams. I I'm know, not gonna, I'm but not, they look, they're still doing the same bull crap that they've always done. I agree. I agree. They they need to get it turned around. Uh, and this week will be a pretty good week to, to try and do that against the 49ers without Jimmy G. Uh, but, man, if C.J. Bethard comes in there and and beats them. C.J. Bethard. Whatever. He ain't, he ain't good. Bethard. All right, so. Let me get Actually, this. he was he wasn't bad last year. Let me ask you this: We've gone over things you would change, okay? Now I'm staying with my Tampa Bay and Miami. I was dead wrong. I wouldn't change anything else new. I'm going to ask you: Atlanta winning that division? Um, you still taking them with two divisional losses in the first three games? Both yeah. of them in Atlanta? No, they weren't. No, they weren't two divisional losses. No, one was uh, the Eagles. They beat the. the, okay, they beat the, yeah. the uh, no, I'm not changing that yet. Okay, I'll tell you what I am changing. All right, I had the Texans at eleven and five. Yeah, that's not good. I'm I'm definitely changing that. Okay. That's a hundred percent. I'm changing that, one. On that. Okay. <laughs> I think I would. I'm with you on that. I had them winning some games. Yeah, you you had them. You had them winning a lot. I think you had them like ten and six. Yeah, probably. That was probably so. Close. I mean, we we all thought Deshaun Watson, even if he wasn't like other world, like he was for four games last year. Deshaun Watson, uh, second quarterback taken in fantasy football. That's just I, this is why you don't take quarterbacks. But it's why you don't take second year quarterbacks. I don't take quarterbacks at all. My last, I tell you, a lot of people, my last, a lot of like people took Dak picks. Prescott for some reason. I don't yeah, know why in no. the world they do that. But I saw a stat today. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna Ooh. wrap this up. Dak Prescott's numbers against Brock Osweiler's numbers. <laughs> <laughs> the exact same. Take the win loss away from them. Yards, touchdowns, interceptions, quarterback rating, they're all the same. All the same. Dang. We've given you all the information you need to be a winner. Head over to Tunica, get some action down on your favorite plays that we have given you. As always, you can visit tunicatravel.com for more information. You can get our picks over at winningcureseverything.com. That is the NFL big game previews for week four.